Welcome back Ponga Box Radio number one online radio. Eh, karibu kwenye show manze. Siliwa niliambia Ponga Box ni about uh, ku invite kila mtu. Any, anybody and everybody. So leo co-host ni anaweza kitambulisha pia. Eh mimi naitwa Nulif mwenyewe uh, musician uh, videographer uh, kila kitu unaweza ni check pale Nulif Music kwa every platform angalia vitu zenye mimi ufanya na kabla tuende sana unajua tuko Bonga Box Radio ensure yeah. umesubscribe hapo uh, na pia ka hit the notification bell ndio vitu kai hizi zikitokea moto moto uko wa kwanza kuona au sio yeah. so eh, nulivi amemwambia ubaza uje ujasema vitu mingi unajua uje ujasema pia wewe ni content creator wa eh, uko na show yako fulani pia una promote tu hapo unajua ni radio kubwa sana eh, najua najua najua, one, najua Bonga Box ndio size size me hit the airwaves nasikia yeah. eh, yeah. watu wanaanza kuteta teta wanakimbia kimbia yeah. ni kubaya yeah. Uh, anyway uh, kuna channel yangu hapo inajita na ni rising ina promote ma artists uh, mnaenda hapo youtube pia mcheki okay. alongside pia channel yangu ya nilif music yenye mimi uh, fanya music kando yeah so nulif ni msanii na nimemwambia na bado ni content creator nimekarisha kwenye show na uh, ali request to to bong about vitu bili tatu about uh, about our country so nulif karibu na karibu kwenye show So uh, one of the topic we wanna discuss na Nulif off camera ni about the uh, uh, drought. Yeah yeah. Uh, na tukasema acha tu yupoke kwa show. Pia wa Kenya tupatie maoni yao. Yeah. Na pia tutupia si tupatiane maoni yetu. Exactly. Uh, on, air. on air. So Nulif tuliona manzee about the story of drought tumeona imeshika Kenya manzee. Nimekuwa was sana mpaka animals wana die. Yeah ni mwana mahali citizen ni post about 110 elephants Elephant yeah, na karibu buffalo sujika ngapi ya buffalo kwa maze kufa hapo mob sana hata kulikuwa yeah. na some images uh, nilikuwa naona AWS na jaribu kupeleka maji ya yeah, yeah. uh, kipatia the elephants maji uh, so drought imetu hit sana hata ukiangalia story yeah. na food uh, food scarcity hakuna mm. dish hakuna uh, sana all over uh, na imekuwa kitu yenye people are pushing that uh, the government waifanye kuwe national disaster mm. ndio sasa itupatie main focus on e drought na pia food yeze kufikia wale wasio wamekuwa kwa affected sana yeah, yeah. Mm. so manze ime ni kitu sad sana which animals kuna animals zinakufa man ni kitu ni very sad eh, which ni unajua animals ni watu wanajitegemea unaona ni nguvu zao zinajitegemea kwa msitu hapo ukiona imewalemea it is something very very serious ni very serious hata ah, unaona wana encroach mm. hadi kwa binadamu na kama mm. binadamu kama unisha huko ndani imeisha imeisha so wana come to encroach uh, humans unapata kuna ile human animal conflict wana kuna jaribu kutafuta maji ama kisha hata wanaingia kwa shamba kuangalia mm. wenyewe kama wana na do you think government ina do enough ku ku deal with situation because because you make one ni disaster in a serious do you think the government is doing enough uh, on my part i don't think the government is doing enough kwa sababu uh, kitu ya kwanza nilingependa kuzungumzia ni i don't think kuna coordination between the president na deputy wake sijui ka wase ubonga ama ubongani kwa sababu uh, reason why nasema hivi mm-hmm. ni uh, regard alikuwa anasema wa Kenya wa come out wa dish tupatie wa Kenya on the other end mm, yenye my, my yenye yenye likos uh, uh, public apro mm. tuliona dish ilikuwa inakuwa distributed somali yenye ko donated to kenya mm. na unajua hiyo ni executive order hiyo ni order imetoka kwa president for for sisi to distribute anything outside mm. order lazima itoke kwa president yeah. cuz yeye ndio head of state na ndio mkuu wa nchi yeah. so like kwa kenyans walikuwa wanauliza swali sisi hatuna dish huku hii dish inakuwa distributed nje ni gani unajua lazima wewe kwanza ujisaidie ndio uweze kusaidia mtu uweze saidia mtu kama wewe mwenyewe uko nja ama wewe uko poa unaona so like watu walikuwa wanauliza hii dish iko wapi because on the other hand rigiji anatuambia tulete dish tupewe wase on the other hand tunaona KDF wana distribute dish wapi Somali. Somali so like tuko do we have enough ya ku support nje and yet sisi wenyewe tunakufa na what if maybe somalia is worse than kenya in a situation like that maybe maybe somalia is worse that's why on a feel eh 
is at least unaweza kupata na kamaji maybe somebody is worse than Kenya that's unajua, why Kenya ni that's why the Kenya government be do hizo unajua unajua okay, okay, ukiangalia situation sema tu wacha wacha ra Somali tuangalie kwa nyumba yako uwezi sema ati mtoto wangu amelala tu nja one day wacha nipeleke ule mwenye amelala nja 10 days human nature akonele nature ya mimi kwanza of which si mbaya cuz hata bibi alisema love yourself unajua the greatest commandment ni love love your neighbor love yourself la, the greatest commandment ilikuwa kwanza love yourself before you love your neighbor cuz eh, yesu alijua usipojipenda uh. hauwezi penda hata msemu mwingine yeah. usipodishi fast ukuwe strong hii dishi hauwezi pia msemu mwingine unaona yeah. so Uh, wangekuwa nasema like tume distribute kidogo hii side na tume tume distribute kidogo ile side why take kitonye tuko nayo tupeleke nje alafu hapa si ndo tuambiwe sasa tu any dish sasa mpea watu haiwezi kuwa hivyo unaona first lazima tu, tuangalie venye tunajali wase wetu watu wetu dish mmepata sawa kama mmepata hii surplus yenye mebaki tuangalie venye tunaweza patia wase wa nje unaona hatuwezi kuchukua dish tupeleke nje tuseme eh hey, wale wasema wanasafa sana and yeah tunaja kulikuwa another picture sio kama uta utaeka hiyo picha kwa show kulikuwa another picture nilikuwa naona eh, a mother and a son wamekaa chini i think walikuwa na walikuwa na kula mguu it walikuwa mguu yanga mia ama nini yenye ni mbichi wanakula mm. yeah there was a picture i think tutaiweka hapa yes, kwa show wase wao wacha ndaitafuta then i see a new it was very sad so kiniambia ati Kenya tuko tuko nini tuko nayo na kuna pictures zenye zimefanya mbako watu washindwe like ai hapana lava iko serious like Kenya pia eh, tuko na shida so let us handle yetu kwanza tukishapata nguvu ndio tunaweza angalia vile tunasaidia jirani yeah hiyo ndo my take so uh, I think uh, ni situation nyingine noma which ni kitu ni kwa national disaster kama ni kwa national disaster yenye inafaa government it take it serious na iweze ku kuangalia venye ni za kabla na wa Kenya wote waweze kupata dish exactly eh, na okay pia ni some on situation ngumu pia maybe government haijui uh, ifanye nini unajua pia farmers we don't maybe we don't have enough farmers maybe uh, watu wengi wanaki watu sio wanakimbia kutoka shada kuja town so unapata farms zimelala so hakuna cha kulinalimwa so food ni less kuna unapata kitu kama hizi zina happen yeah yeah hiyo pia naweza sema ni ukweli but then uh, uh, government namba one inafaa iangalie strategy ya caution kwanza wana inchi against drought najua drought ikikuja food ikiwa scarce Uh, tutakuwa na high food prices na already tulikuwa na high food prices number one because of inflation yenye ilikuwa ililetwa na ile ya ya nini Ukraine. ya Ukraine so saa hizi kiongeze, kiongezeka na drought unaweza unaweza tell to my price so yeah. government number one wanaweza tafuta methods za ku cushion wana inchi against uh, high food prices food yeah. scarcity fast then kufika hapo nilisikia president alikuwa anasema Uh, alisema anataka kufundisha wale watu wengine agricultural economics uh, yeah. that is what uh, he said uh, so i think uh, maybe tumpatie time ak- anajua hiyo agricultural economics atatupeleke into the right direction mpaka Kenya tukue watu tunaweza panda chakula na wao then um, i think uh, tunafa ku invest more on irrigation irrigation then to adopt modern farming government ijaribu ku adopt modern farming sana ndio increase your production ya dish unapata mostly uko home tuna rely on traditional farming of which ni subsistence pekee ina ina provide food ya ya hapo tu kwa homestead una produce maybe kuna yeah. tumbi ile yenye mtosha wewe na wase wako na ukiangalia nchi za nje wame 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 nini wame, wame, wame invest on in extension services extension officers kama kitambo agricultural officers walikuwa wanatembea kwa nini sana kwa mahomes kwa mahomes villages wanaambia wase the type of soil fertilizer yenye imetokea yeah. water view so government pia inafaa ikuwe na initiative kaizo zenye watu wanafanya huko nje ndo to increase on mass production ndo to ki produce dish ikuwe enough for 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 Kenya fast na pia tupate surplus yenye tunaweza uza sasa nje kuna 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 this is the limit na uh, an elderly person hapa anambia drought is a sign of bad leadership 
is it do you think it's true because wana sema hata hata kwa bible ile kuna mataka kama maybe country kipata maybe kama unapata country there are times ikipata king ama ruler mwenye alikuwa nini kuna vitu mba vitu mba zinaonekanaaga kuna vitu zina ishara vitu fulani ziki happen on shay this kind of relationship is 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 not good ama is not uh, maybe hiyo hiyo tu naongea according to maybe biblical na pia eh na pia was ni mtu mkubwa ni mtu mzee labda ni ndani alikuwa ni alikuwa ni niambia kitu kai hiyo because wanasema like hiyo ni ishara ya bad ya ya bad leadership do you think it's true like kukuwa na vitu kama drought okay uh kitu 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 naweza comment on that is uh, it might be true ama yezi kwa true but uh, kitu naweza sema ni hii uh, drought okay drought inaweza kuja because of uh, good ama bad leadership yeah. kitu na depend ni uh, the the nini repercussion ama uh, kitu tulifanya on in on the past unaona vitu kama climate change history ya kukata miti and what have you yeah, iko yes, na yeah. overall effect on kitu tuna tuna, tuna yeah, on the environment na pia our future generation but kitu naweza sema on our situation on the drought is that uh, we, we 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 have a government na uh, leaders wenye ko in place wenye Ukiangalia hapo in the past walikuwa in denial story ya kupanda mti story ya kukushwa na wananchi against uh, e food crisis story ya ku, ku story na ku uh, story hata na hiyo vita ya Ukraine ni watu wali inherit ndio kulikuwa na shida wali inherit government yenye ilikuwa na face crisis na vitu zilikuwa chini but kuna some good things yenye ile government iliacha ilikuwa imefanya kukushwa na wananchi unajua kikuja mahali eh uh, atoki angalia anga venye wacha nitumie tu for example ya FBI mm. FBI wakiingianga mali mm. if they want to take a command of a place hawa ingiangi tu wanatoa wa, au masoja immediately zi wanaendanga kwa ule general mwenye alikuwa na command anawapiga blueprint mm. ya okay tume command so far hii era tumeshika iko hivi hivi na hivi hawa senye tuna fight nao ama kitu tunajaribu ku neutralize kwa ground iko hivi na hivi na hivi hivi alafu sasa from your blueprint FBI wanajipanga then as soja wengine waki withdraw FBI na take from there FBI ingine ifukuze hawa watu so what the current regime iliingia iliingia wakaanza kutoa each and everything each and everything unajua subsidies subsidies unatoa uh, vitu zenye wale watu walikuwa wameweka unasema hizi vitu ni zina sisi tunataka kuwafunza vile tunafanya leadership nini ndio tumekubali each and everybody yako na style yake but yeah. uki, ukipata mtu kwa ukipata mtu mahali lazima angalie umsa alikuwa anafanya kitu kwa nini kuna kitu nzuri ni za boro kwake ndio ni add on on hii yangu yenye nimekuja nao mpya unaona ukikuja ukitoa kila kitu unapata in the long run ule msali kwa right mpaka unaona size wanaanza ku retract their comments wanasema eh nyewe ile vita ya Ukraine ndio ilikuwa na effect hizi vitu but back then walikuwa wanasema si unaona so kitu naweza sema tu ni uh, kuna debate fly ni watch hapo ya ya nini u uh, our current Nairobi senator sifuna alikuwa na put it clear alikuwa anasema ukitaka ku whenever you want to operate somebody kama yenu na umma unampiga shindano ya pay fast yes, inatulia inatulia inafanya place na kuwa number na ngoa uwezi ngoa mtu anasikia pain ya meno bado una ngoa na ujeka anastasia whatever ile regime ilitoka ilikuwa imeweka anastasia unaona mm. as walikuwa na tafuta subsidy yeah which ilikuwa subsidy walikuwa na tafuta kitu ya kukushon watu against mm. uh, uh, e drought war in ukraine uh, food prices in increase ilikuwa tu ni kama uh, ki, ki Anastasia yeah. then walikuwa well, after lasting solution so the current regime ilingia ngeona hiki kitu tunaenda aje unaona that is yeah. all that you they can do it in 100 days but after ku retract back wanaona eh hapana ni noma hiki so, yeah. sile 100 days tulikuwa tumesema hiki yeah. acha tu, tu nini tuchukue tuchukue one year so all in all uh, kwa hiyo swali umeniuliza Uh, drought ndio ni saa zingine ni uh, sign of bad leadership, of bad leadership ni kutoka kwa Mungu saa zingine is not saa zingine is not but out of ease of tunimwambia hapo kwa comment section pia mtu anaweza jiangalia semeni hivi hivi na hivi yeah. 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 wazee tuambia hapo kwa comment section kafan 
Tukwambie what do you think eh, about the history of the drought in Kenya na leadership kama pia pia drought is a sign of bad leadership, bad leadership. and also history of the drought na pia i think the same Kenyans to come pamoja na pia tuone kuchu kuna places ziku zinaathirika sana sana yeah. i think we can we can create uh, maybe kuko na initiative ka pay bill or something to come to come through for fellow Kenyans for, for, for fellow Kenyans. kuna wenyako was exactly. unajua na kuna zingine zilizo za TV but hapa tutabongea na tuweze ku maybe ku come up na solution so tuambie hapo kwa comment tusahau ku subscribe like na ushare